I'm on Kaggle.com in their ocular disease recognition um, link. So essentially what this does is it gives you an entire around 6,000, 7,000 images of different eye photos. And each eye photo has normal diabetes, glaucoma, cataracts, age-related ma ma macular degeneration, um, hypertension, pathological myopia, other diseases, abnormalities. What is cool about this is uh, you get all this training data that you don't have to find yourself. So go over here to the downloads. If you don't see, you can just kind of scroll down or you'll find it in the upper right um, as of 2022. Click on that and you will be given this simple little eye zip. Since I'm a Mac user, all I have to do is just double click on it and then it will extract it into a folder for me. Okay, cool. So we have our eye folder now. I'll double click to go inside it and we'll be greeted with a CSV file, a 5K file, and a processed images folder. I should have said folder on this one as well. If I double click on this, we'll be greeted with pretty much where every normal diabetic glaucoma, etc., eye image is located. The problem is it's in some other location, whoever created this in some weird land. This will not work for us as of now. Um, I will show you how to find each image and then I'll show you how to pretty much parse it out in Python. Uh, it's a lot more simpler than it sounds. Actually, it is simple. So let's, let's just look at this first one. Um, ID zero, patient's age 69, female. Then it got to the left and right eye diagnosis for each one, and then the file path. So this one essentially is normal for the right eye. Hmm. Fascinating, even though it has a fair. All right, now we got that. Let's move this out of the way. So we need to figure out how to find these preprocessed images. We can use this if you want to. Uh, the problem is though, the testing images and training images are a little bit um, bigger and they're not pre-processed. So some are bigger, some are smaller. What's nice though, is that they do provide the pre-processed images. So these are pretty much all the same size. We will use this folder. Okay. Let's start here. So we need to find this file location. I'm just gonna go get info. I'm gonna to go to where it says where. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna find the file path in the CSV file or folder, file folder. Anyways, so we'll go over here, we'll click on this. We're gonna to go to edit. We're gonna to go to find, replace. We want to replace anything right over here, all of this. So it'll be anything that is past our image name. And we want to replace it with the location. So if I paste that in now from what we copied from our get info, I don't believe that is proper. Because if we go back here, Yeah, so it's going to the I, and we need to get to this folder right here. So we need one more step. So essentially what we could do is, let me close out of that. We could just, whoops, we could just click on this, copy, go back to our CSV, do our flash, and then we will do pre-processed images. So now it will be able to locate each one of these file images. I'm just going to click replace all. 6,392 images replaced. Wow, that was fast. Close out of that. So now each one of these paths will be able to find that image. Awesome. We need to do one more thing now. On the top, each one of these has a label, a name, file path, etc. I'm just going to go to data, 
go into filter, and it creates a filter on the top. So if I just want to filter out all normal uh, eye images, I can click on a little arrow right here, select descending, and now I get every normal eye, essentially, which would be a one. Cool. Now we need to take all these images and create a separate CSV file. This will be the easiest way for a YouTube video. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. Again, you could probably just filter it just so, so it just shows the ones. But let's just do it the long winded way. So we got one. Um, this is where it stops. I'm just going to mouse over to the end right here. I'm going to scroll all the way up, hold shift, click. Now I got every file location for that image. I'm going to do a control C to copy, or sorry, command C to copy, command N for a new Excel, command V to paste all those images in. All right. So this is all of our normal images. I'm going to do command S to save. And I'm just going to call this normal. Before I save, though, I need to change this to a CSV file. This will allow us to use Python to grab the data we need. Uh, let's see here if it's in the right location. Yeah, it looks right. If not, I could always change it. I'll save it. I'll close out of this because I don't need it anymore. Now we got a normal CSV file. Essentially, it has every image location that is normal. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to do a new folder. I'm just going to name it normal. So we created a normal folder and a normal CSV from our full DF CSV file. Nothing in here. Here's the Python code to take that normal CSV and convert it or to grab everything from here and dump it into here. So this is essentially taking all the normal images from here and copying them into here. Again, I'll provide the code, um, everything and how to get to all that. It'll be in the YouTube description. So here's the file path. And the file path is essentially to get to here, here, and here. So for my computer, it's just going to be user, Zachary Schrader, desktop, tutorial, I, normal CSV. That's just the file path. So here's the normal CSV. That's that file path. Our read source folder. So pre-processed images right here. And our normal. Our normal. So we're going to open it. Oh yeah, and here's the import, so OS, um, shut IL, and then CSV. Essentially what we're doing is a for loop. It's pretty much reading everything that we specified for that CSV. Then it's using a if statement, and then copying those into that folder we specified. Again, if you don't want to copy it, if you actually just want to um, like move it, you just move it. I believe it's move. I think it's move for that one. But we'll copy it because some of the images overlap. So for example, a glaucoma eye may also be diabetic. So those two kind of look the same. So that's why I'm having them copied because there's a little bit of overlap with some of the images. All right, so let's navigate to the number folder. It's empty. If I hit run, it's going to copy all these images into that normal folder. And if I right click, sort by name, now we have all of the normal images sorted. And I have no idea if it's normal or not. I'm just trusting the CSV file because um, I'm not a doctor. And kind of cool, not close enough. 
But yeah, so here's all the normal ones. Um, I'll do another example just so we could get a little more practice and how it works. So let's create a diabetes one next. I think that's next over here. Let's check a look. Let me scroll all the way up. Yep, diabetes is next. Um, whoops. So all I need to do is again, just click on that arrow, descending, um, and then just pretty much just go to the end of the ones where the diabetes is. Yes, I know we could have programmed it to be a lot easier, but this is a good start for those who just want to parse some of their images data into different folders. I'm not trying to make it complicating. All right, so we got a one, so that's the end of the diabetes one. We'll click there. I'll scroll all the way to the top. I'll click to the top of that file or that cell row. Command C to copy. Command N for a new Excel document. Command V to paste all of our images that are diabetic. Command S to save. And then we'll save this as diabetes. Um, before we click save though, we need to change this to a CSV file format. Make sure we're in the right location, save. So now we got another CSV file that is diabetes. We'll create another folder. We'll just call it diabetes. And essentially we need to get the images that are diabetic from the CSV file into this diabetes folder. So since we already did all the work, I mean, yes, we could have done another for loop just to loop through that and parse it, but I'm doing it the long hard way. So we need to put diabetes here and diabetes there. Since I don't trust myself in spelling, I'm just going to copy that over to this one and into there. I'm going to move to the diabetes folder, hit play. And all of our diabetic eye images will be in that folder now. Cool, cool, cool. All righty. So now we got all of our different classes in their appropriate folders. Let's see here. Let's get this a little cleaned up here. Excellent. Now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it I classes. Just think of each folder as a class. I'm going to copy them into here. You'll see why in a few seconds. Cool, cool, cool. Now what I need to do is open up create ML. Okay. Let's do a new document. So here's our different types of classifications we could use. So image classifiers, object detections, you could do hand gestures. Uh, there's a whole, actually it's quite powerful to tell you the truth. Right now we're just going to use image classification. That's why we broke each one of those uh, uh, images into their separate classes. I will click on that, click next. Uh, let's call this, what should I call it? Yes, Y-E-S-E, -E. yes -E. Okay, we'll go to next, um, and then we will save it. I'll just save it in here. Okay, so here's what we will be greeted with. All we will need to do is take that I class folder, let's move this over. 
so essentially, let's see here. Won't let me. So we'll take this I class folder since we have all those classes and we'll drag it into our training data. So here it is right here, I classes. I'll drop it into there and I'll create a separate class for each one of those folders. According to this, there's 7,431 items, quite a bit. Okay, before I click on the train button, I'm gonna click on these different augmentations. So it gives the computer some variation of the same image. But essentially, once you figure out what you wanna do, hit train and you're pretty much good to go. So I hope this helps. Um, maybe someone will create something cool or come up with a new app that will change the world. Hopefully, that'd be kind of cool. Um, hope you liked it. Have a good day. Bye.